We're looking out for young guys to you know, sign as well that want to come on a journey with someone who believes in them and want to help to push them and develop them. This is John Tanagi of 5th Pro Boxing Fans, joined by Dean White. Dean, how you been? Been a while? How you doing, my man? Long time, long time, man. Yeah, man, all, all good. How you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, last time I saw you was at your show in Tolworth. Mm -hmm. uh, Alfie Clegg put in a great performance. Oh, great and uh, he, won a, he won a belt, which I think might have been sort of the first first belt he's won under you, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Alfie was... Um you know, from the beginning, we've you know built him from scratch. Um, he came to us um, with no fights, I think, and then yeah, in nine fights, he's won the IBO Youth World Title. So yeah, what a momentum, a moment for us at Black Box Global. Um, he sold a hell of a lot of tickets, great atmosphere, um, and and we put on a hell of a show there for the fans. You know what I mean? And the fights on the night, we only had I think six fights, and it was all evenly matched, great fights. So you know, I'm really happy. We're just trying to do. Um, some other shows hopefully shortly we literally had um, uh, another title there for Alfie but the bloody opponents uh, I don't know what happened to him if he's either got injured or he's pulled out or been offered more money elsewhere but we've lost that opponent now anyway so we're just back at the drawing board looking again and trying to see what we can uh, uh, produce for him but yeah you know we want to keep that momentum and keep building with Alfie but you know He's a young man that's striving to learn and develop and grow. So yeah, man, good times. I said one to you when I first watched him that he reminded me a bit of like a young Sonny Edwards kind of with, yeah. the, with his style. But he, he, he seems like he's got a lot of potential to, to go quite far in the sport. Do you know what? If you've seen him from his earlier fights, he's developed quite well under Zav. You know, he was with John Edwards for a while, done a great job of him. And obviously they parted ways. And um, now he's with Zav. He sees he's had a few more stoppages since he's been with Zav, going to the body a lot more, which in that fight he needed because that guy was that guy was a, a real tough customer and he was giving as good as he was getting. That was a real good match. That guy was going to his body and he was going to his body and they were both draining each other, you know what I mean? But I mean going to the body, coming up to the head. And I think that was the difference in that fight. Alfie just had that little bit bit more bit between his teeth in that fight and um down the stretch he started to press on the front foot and uh, nearly got the stoppage in that fight. But I mean he's still learning he's at 24 he's got a lot still to learn but we need to do it quickly because we want him to try and get to a you know he's like nine and a half it now so we want to let him off the leash in a in a little bit down the line we want him to have you know start turning the screw a little bit more with some of the guys we are looking for certain domestic opponents if we can get them for him to fight but it's all under our terms and our circumstances how we want to play this you know what i mean obviously he's he, he, he he's he's our guy who we're developing and building yes my man so um we want to continue to you know work with him and develop him in, in the fashion we want and then eventually we'll look at the other um, platforms and see which is best suited for what we're trying to do and who wants to come on board the journey and wants to help and push you know what I mean not, any, not every platform is a home that want to help you <laughs> you know what I mean um, so let's see let's see what happens you know what I mean but yeah we, he's got a bright future the way you've sort of built him up on on your shows like does that does that make you want to do this more with sort of other prospects building them up like you have done absolutely this is our this is our um our, our, our objective anyway with with the guys we have um no i can only do so much the guys i've got to do my part which i have done with alfie and then the, the fighters got to do their part and they got to train hard they got to go and work they got to go and um, you know, sell their tickets, they got to become marketable, they got to, be, you know, get out there and st try and build traction for themselves because I can't do all of that. I can put your name out there and get your name out there. I've done it with a lot of fighters, you know what I mean? But you still have to go and do stuff yourself. Um, but we got, we got, um, we got Caleb Foreman, very, very talented fighter, can box, moves, sells a bit of tickets. He's someone next we're looking to kind of push on shortly. I think he's about 7 and 0. So hopefully we want to look to see what we can do with him. And, um, you know, we've got a, a couple of other guys. And we're looking out for young guys to, you know, sign as well that want to come on a journey with someone who believes in them and want to help to push them and develop them. Boxing's a hard, hard sport and it's hard to just say, oh, I'll get a manager who just phones me on the day of the fight or gets me fights, you know what I mean? I think there's a bit more to boxing. Um, uh, manager than that I think it's a little bit of mentoring and friendship and uh, you both got to go through stuff you know what I mean and build together um, especially at the lower levels as well you know what I mean but um, I think you know um, we, we, we're at a small stable at the minute and I think it's working for the meantime of what and where we are and we are trying to add some people but obviously it's got to fit into the mode of 
what we're trying to do, you know what I mean? But let's see, let's see what the future holds, man. Well, what about your journey from, you know, when you came on the scene, we're here at Miguel's and you were here with Dillian and things like that to, this, this to, to be managing home. people and stuff like that? This is, this is the home, even now, coming back here, I haven't even really been here for a while, to be honest, but, you know, it feels the same. Um, you know, we had some great, great times here, even as, as recently when, I, obviously, I used to do all my weigh-ins here and stuff, and this was a building block and very supportive um, the guy Steve who owned this and his family and everyone and then going back even further to when me and Dylan was here it was you know this was our little home we came from Flaxman the girls with the Muay Thai and then we came here and um, this is this has been a even with the Joshua and Dylan press conference that was the media day press conference <laughs> one of them was in here so I mean it was humming in there that day you know what yeah. I mean so it's good we had some good talent come from here Isaac Chamberlain Richard Viatport Chris Congo John Harding Jr there's a few boys that's come out of this you've got Sammy that come in there and a few other guys amateurs that have done really well that come from here but Miguel's a, is done, a, built some real good talent you know what I mean but I mean I think they've made their stamp on boxing there's even some other who's the other guy that um, was a heavyweight that was out of it he still trains that like, he don't fight no more I can't remember his name right this second he fought Dillian um, what was his name oh, again uh, Ian Lewison was Ian it Ian Lewison yeah. I, was, I saw him he trains there with a couple of guys I mean there's there's so much people that has come from you know this neck of the woods but Miguel's man been a staple of the Brixton community in the boxing you know what I mean and some other gyms and you see how, how busy it is and it is, is in there with white collar and they do kids class and they do amateur and and it's a great feeling when you come in here and you remember where everything started, you know what I mean? And uh, it's good to be here, man. In terms of sort of uh, your management stuff, you know, what's the plans with it? You know, what 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 uh, shows are you trying to get your guys on to? And, and what, what are the plans maybe, you know, for any of the guys you manage? I think it's just literally working with anyone we can work with or anyone we choose to work with. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I suppose, not say I don't rule out anything, but, you know, everyone's clicked up in boxing to a degree. Some people work with their click and they've got their platforms and it's the same on, on this side. We, I work with a, a few people, Mo, someone, example, was probably mainly I work with and um, Costa, he just messaged me now, funny enough, and he's someone maybe I would do something with, um, potentially. So it's, um, you know, it, it just depends, do you know what I mean? Um, at the minute, though, we're, it, you know, a lot of the guys are. If you get, if they, 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 where they are, they like Sutton, Epson, Guildford. So Tolworth is the location for them. Um, some do want to fight and have a go at York Hall, but you know, you got Nielsen's, you got Mo, and you got a few others, and and a lot of their fights are 50-50 fights. So I don't know. It's a bit tough to get the slots for some of the boys and I think they're only allowed 10 fights not 12 so that that poses its own issues and restrictions again so um, yeah that, and that's it really I think right now where we are we've, we've built a great home a staple down there where people know they can come and have a great night at Tower. So that's where we just work out of, man. We're not even trying to jump too soon, but there's some things in the future potentially that we will look at. Um, but at this minute, we're just there, and that's where the boys fight. I have got them on various different shows as well sometimes, but yeah, hopefully, um, maybe later this year or next year, we'll, we'll, we'll be looking at some. Um, we're not looking at, we are looked at some things and hopefully they'll come to fruition later in the year or next year or whatever, so we'll see. The, the reason I ask some of these questions is because, you know, a lot of people know you as Dillian's, Dillian's brother and, you know, you've been on that journey and you're the promoter and be also doing a lot of the management side, which I, I don't think loads of people know about, so it's, it's just good to yeah, make sure people yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, no, do you know what? I, I kind of tried to break out of that name and mould and just say that because, look, I wanted to just be my own man and do my own things so I just literally just went on my own journey and just concentrated on developing myself as as a human as a you know a man that stands on his own merits in what, what I've done and I think we've done that with black box we built something that is respectable um, and and we're trying to make the culture of the look uh, the cosmopolitan of the UK come together in in it and what we're doing we're, we're trying to bring that diversity in the in the sport and um, I think we've done a good job you know what I mean we've brought everyone together um, boxing is just boxing we're trying to be 
put a whole show together, not just boxing. We're trying to bring an atmosphere, a vibe, because some, you know, it's a lot of money to come and pay tickets just to come out. You do come and support your friend, but you want a good night. You want to make it a night to be remembered, and that's what I think we pride ourselves on trying to make that for the fans and people who come and attend black box shows that they enjoy themselves and they remember you know what that was a good night there were some really good fights and we had a good time um so that's what it is and i feel the journey has been long hard difficult um trying very very trying you know what i mean um but look i guess that's the world you know we live in it's trials and tribulations but I mean, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed the journey, so I'm, you know, as well as the tough parts, but I've enjoyed it nevertheless. So that's where I'm at with it, man. And uh, you've obviously got experience with all the all the promoters. Uh, obviously, Wasserman are involved in uh, misfits, and you know they put on some entertaining shows. Uh, do you think you'd, you'd ever want to manage any guys that go into that side of the game? Because right now you're just with sort of the, yeah. the the traditional pros. It's funny, you know. Like I said, Missy's uh, said I should try and find some guys to coach and manage. And um, I haven't gone out there looking for them, but hey, look, if you want a coach or a manager, hit me up, man. I'll, I'll sharpen them up. Yeah, hell yeah, I'll bloody work some of them up, get them into fit fighting shape and get their technique a little better so they can whoop some ass, you know what I'm saying, and get to this bag. That's what it's really about. They just, you know, those boys, a lot of them need to tighten up their um, technique. I understand it's, it's called misfits, so, you know, the mishap and having technique maybe not go together as such, but, you know, you can still fine tune stuff and, and have a little bit of uh, tidiness in what they're doing but some of them boys box pretty decent as well to be honest with you but you know what I mean I'm happy I'm, I'll, I'll be looking out man anyone wants a trainer manager let me help you like, get to the knockouts man and get some of those guys out of there and get this money we need to bring Garfield up there Garfield's, Garfield up there get him on the get him on the misfits you know what I'm saying he's he, he's good yeah. uh, he's decent